our arc is under its way and what's happening the uh the girl the sister from the noble family that we corrected is actually here and i thought that she's gonna go on through some kind of redemption arc and maybe this is part of that we we're doing these moves where basically he has new series of killer attacks one of them is like the calf kick the other is like concussion through wind pressure which is pretty funny there's a bunch of things that we need to do to collect points to qualify for the final bracket, which we're going through right now. I think we have a limited amount of time to get like 40 wins, which should be impossible. And then last episode, at the very end, they hinted at the other player who should be the sponsored athlete or the um, uh, contestant who gets to join without, doing, without actually having to fight, right? So we have the main winner, who is the furry guy that we saw, as well as some kind of dragon hybrid dude who is with a bunch of ladies at the end of the last episode. So those two will be in the final bracket no matter what. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. Bald! Bald! This dude literally called us old. I want you to remember this. This show goes out of its way to shit on, shit on um, Rick so much that even like old dudes will call us old. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Something about this referee outfit's funny to me. Because, like, we're in this, like, medieval time in, like, a coliseum doing shit, and it looks like a fucking FIFA World Cup soccer referee outfit. Like, what? Nice. That's actually really impressive. Yes. Uh, is there 10 venues? Oh. No, we can do it. Yeah, as long as there's enough, we can just like get there and with like a one single jump. It shouldn't be easy. It should be very easy. Easy work. Yes, and it's irrelevant. 30 kilos, one jump. Let's do it. <laughs> Calculator? Too slow. I do it in my head. <laughs> he was gaslighting her there for a second. A carriage are fucking crazy, but you know, we're living in our own world. <laughs> you wanna go watch? Lena will help. Carry her. What a lucky girl. Fear of heights? I don't know. You would think like a hardened adventurer would be chill with stuff like this, but maybe fear of heights. Osan, the fastest preliminary qualifiers in history. Yep. Oh. <laughs> the third technique, we have the calf kick, we have the air concussion, but you just buried this guy underneath. <laughs> she literally just got here. <laughs> Looks like he's using wind magic, you know, but it's just the force of his palm. Nice. It's too fast! This is... Okay, she's already passed out by this one. Her, her pupils are completely white. She's, she's gone right there. But this one is like running super fast around your opponent so that they get caught up in sort of like tornado and pass out. Okay. Just skip this guy entirely. Easy montage, yep. Not with Rick in here. Oh, never mind. That's Ork. That's Mr. Ork. That's right. Rick is not the only guy we should be worrying about. Mr. Ork is actually entering too. Right now, he's having a fun time basically abusing that slave rights. That slave deserves to be abused. Which sounds weird, but if you watched last episode, you'd understand what I'm saying. Rick or someone else? Someone else? <laughs> Jogging? A 600 kilometer jog! 
あなたもよくあれと一緒にいられますわ。Because <laughs> Okay, it's time to go on a little side quest part timer job. I mean, Renet's ready as a maid out maid, in a maid cafe, maybe. Where the fuck did that come from? Who are you? Chairman. Snape Resurrect. What a name. Oh. Something I'm not really sure based on the handshake. Maybe it was very firm. Oh. Angelica's working a part time job right now. Yeah, you know her? That's funny because we just treat the house of Dirmu like trash as they deserve. Based on the handshake. Win a little competition? Nah, this guy probably won the whole thing as being humble. See? Won! First and last! That's so impressive! You literally won on your first try then retire. That's so OP. Hmm. Yeah, it must be the other guy, right? The sponsored guy. Only because they both are dragon noids, right? Well, this guy's more dragon. The other guy looked a little bit more human than dragon, even though he had like a whole dragon face. Dragon toes. Is that a threat? What do you mean? Tell her not to get too excited. Okay. <laughs> and this girl is in love with Mr. Brothson, or Mr. Orc. Orc rizzed this cat girl up so hard. Dragonet company. Yeah, but he's a con man? Meaning that the Diarmut family is also doing dealings in the underworld? The champion and the sponsored candidate gets to go in for free. Bunnies. Is it Dark Elf Girl? It's gotta be Renet. Bunnies. Is it a bunny cafe? It's gotta be Renet, right? Renet and Angelica are at a bunny cafe? What are you doing? Part-time job. They needed more people to hype it up. But you're literally a contestant in this tournament and you're advertising in the bunny girl suit? Alright, fuck it. God damn! Really? You're enjoying a lot. You're just being nice? Is Angelica just like feeling herself and she likes this or is she just being nice? <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave a bunny alone! <laughs> I thought, guys, I saw the hand motion and I was like, oh no, he's groping her. But it's like, there's nothing to grow. Oh! He deserves that. Actually, this treatment, I think that some people would pay for money. I think that some people would enjoy this. Sure. Sure. Mm. Mm. Oh, Rinnet's making move. <laughs> yeah, they got something going on. You're not the main girl. I'm sorry, Angelica. I, you don't even like Rick, right? You call him a 40-year-old something, but is she slowly developing something for him? I don't think so. Maybe? Some sort of respect, maybe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness! Good googly moogly. Uh
Which one is this girl, actually? Where is she from? She's back at the guild. Was she the girl that we took along for that quest where she thought she was hot shit, but she got fucked up? She's just a receptionist. No, 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 separate girl. The child, not a childhood friend, but the girl that Rick used to work at, right? The place that we were both receptionists. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Dwarf Elf Guy likes her. I wonder if there's anything here. If it's just like a random intermission scene, or if there's like a ship going on here. Rick's getting super hyped up. Oh, never mind. They're talking about the orc. Okay, orc, let's hype. Both. They're talking about both. Do you think that... I hope this guy can compete against Rick. I hope that he doesn't just get instantly one shot. That would kind of not be fun. Even though the power of fantasy is fun, but like... This guy has to be strong, right? He can't just be some other loser, right? Backstory? This is where they found him? No! <laughs> yes. Well, he's just going out trying to find strong fighters to coach so that they can be champions. Okay. He's getting Doki Doki. Rick Gladiator is making me go all Doki Doki. Guys, give me one second. I gotta go do something real quick. Give me one second. I gotta, I gotta prepare some tea because I'm realizing that I'm getting a little sleepy. I need some power for ReZero at the end of the stream. All right, I'm back. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. How's it going, Angelica? なんでもありませんわ。もう可愛かったよ。うん。はい。一部の方からもご好評でした。ちょっとポーションオブクラウド。あ、そうだ。そういえば昨日スネイプさんって人が訪ねてきたよ。知りませんわ。キャップ。
Does that mean Angie is done? I'm not too sure. Does she get another chance or is she out? Oh, Jesus, she's actually just topless. Okay. It's because we mentioned Snape and that shit is still poisoning in her head right now. We need to talk it through so that she can have a clear head when in battle. Mmm. Very Natsuki Subaru esque right here. Her pride is gonna be her downfall right now. Also, there's always fucking butt crack here. Every per there's a slight line. They're, they always add in the butt, like a sl It's not a butt crack, but it's like the, the crack that would lead to the butt crack. It's like the butt crack crack. You know what I mean? It's hard to describe it. Like, it's not the butt crack, but it's the crack that leads to the butt crack. Butt crack crack. Oh. Yeah. See, that's all Subaru has to do. That's all Subaru had to do last episode and accept Reinhardt's help. But he fucked up. Okay, let's focus on newbie adventure. Fiance? What the fuck? Okay. Their parents are dead. <sighs> they drop in a fucking sad flashback on this shitty family. And there's a fourth sibling. Holy fuck. There's a fourth sibling, dude. Cause like, they suck, you know? For sure they suck, but this backstory now? Oh, it's gonna humanize them more. I thought there was only three siblings. A deal with the devil or the dragon. Mm. Oh. The pact with the dragon, guys. <laughs> You're Rick Loki hilarious recently. I thought he was gonna do some, you know, cheesy, corny shit if it's like, it's okay, Angelica. Only you can decide who your true love is. I'll be there for you. But he's like, the fuck? <laughs> Angie is a scaly confirmed. Angie being a scaly just like shocked Rick so much with that delayed response. <laughs> yeah, his brain's rotted. Not as much as Noor though, and I parry everything. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit! It's Taylor Britt! The guy we lost to and this is the sponsor champion that we saw at the end of the last episode. So last episode I thought he looked more human, but we didn't really get to see all of him. My bad, he just full dragon. Yo, Taylor Britt is a good guy here? What the fuck? He's literally saying, let her go. <laughs> what is... I, jumped, I jumped to conclusions, because I don't know, you, you look at a guy like this, and usually they're pieces of shits in anime, but he's a good guy. <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover. Damn. <laughs> Duel <with it. laughs> Bro, that's fucking wood. How the fuck does this plate... Break on wood. Anyway. Rick, get in there. Like, what is? is? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow, that worked. Rick. There's Rick. Oh. Snape. Listens to his master, huh? Hmm. Geet is just an asshole. I mean, we saw a glimpse of the last episode, but yeah. Snape. 
He spawns a champion. Oh, he's just a fucking brat that needs to be corrected. Yo, Rick, fuck him up. Or, wonder who's gonna do it. Rick or Mr. Orc? I know Angelica can't do this. I don't think Angelica will, but like, Rick or Mr. Broston? Who will correct Geith? <laughs> Angie's good. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is she here to somehow get out of the marriage proposal if she wins or something? Is that the promise? I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, they're fraudulent. So the money that they promised with us for the betrothal, they don't even have the money. Dude is just gambling. He straight up has no money for the actual fucking engagement. The promise he has nobody. He has to win it here. Fuck him. Better win. And we'll fuck up that bet. That'll be easy, right? If we fuck up their schemes and they have no money and they can't, you know, follow through with the contract. Yep. It's all right, you got Rick here and Mr. Orc. I know who can. Wait, training time for Angie? And Angie gets strong enough to beat Geeth by herself? I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> oh, murder? No, Mr. Orc will revive you immediately after you die. Don't worry, it's all part of the training. And that's today's episode of Osan Newbie Adventure. God damn, there was a lot of fan service out of fucking nowhere. The bunny suit girls. That shit was so pointless. But I'm not complaining. I enjoyed that a lot. Now, what's actually happening to the plot? The plot is Angie is a core component of this plot today in the arc of, you know, this whole pugilist tournament. She... Her family, the Dearmut family, sad. Parents dead, grandfather came in, sold the family off to basically snake resurrect in favor of money. But they don't got the money. And if they need the money to go through with the whole engagement shit, they need to win the tourney and they're gonna fix shit. But if we're here and if we stop that, then they can be prevented. This Taylor guy, I feel bad for thinking he's just a piece of shit. This Taylor guy was actually a good person. Geeth, absolute piece of shit. And I thought that Rick or Mr. Orc would correct the Geeth, but hey, looking like we're gonna train Angelica and Angie herself can just save the day. I am so down for that. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, uh, take care.